gonna do one that you've seen, but not like held. Okay. I, I did like uh, it was part of the hall, but I got something else that hasn't been seen in any capacity. What is it? You'll see. <laughs> but I'm gonna do the other one first. So okay. bear with me. I really don't know what this other one could be. Curious. You've been hauling the hot toys. Oh, yeah, this one I have seen. A big boy. You going to hand that to me? Yeah, I'll you hold it. That's sweet. No one can see. We're going to unbox, preview the Hot Toys Thor Ragnarok Gladiator Hulk. Take a look at everything it comes with real quick. Big box. Big box for a big figure. Yeah. Very true. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's very large. I have to like move stuff around just to be able to get it out. Okay. Here's his axe. Very nice looking. A nice little rubber, like, I don't know if it is rubber. It's Rubberized. plastic, but it feels like it's rubber. It's got a rubber look to it. Got some girth to it. And here's his hammer. Yeah, they got some, the paint job and stuff on the hammer and axe and stuff looks really good. That's the main one. Then we got his his hat here, his little helmet. This is like real. I don't know what you can call this hair, fake hair. Yeah, it's hair. like hair, but I don't know what they actually call the little headdress Mohawk thing, thing on these. Yeah, there's that. Looks good. And it also has. The like side pieces have to clip in as separate pieces, just like this. Let's think about hot toys. I still haven't gotten my tax return. I haven't got mine either. It's BS. Like I don't know what's going on with it. All the battle. Did you get paper check? No, I get a uh, direct deposit, but it's like that commercial. Like it's my money, and I need it now. Yeah. I'm going to call J.G. Wentworth. Wentworth. <laughs> Jinx. Give that man a call. And he has two different head sculpts. We got this one. The more angry looking face. I don't have a light like directly behind me or behind the camera, so it doesn't pick up too well. It gets dark if I get too close. Maybe I could zoom this a little bit. <laughs> the way that zoomed in, like, hey. That is really good looking. Like, the head sculpt's awesome. Nice shine on the eye. God. Now I gotta zoom out. Cause he still is like out of frame. <laughs> He's still so big. Fucking huge. I don't know why. It surprises me that you would have got that one. 
Well, I got it for a deal. I yeah. literally it's used it to leverage specific. a deal. Yeah. Because I think I'm honestly, I think I've just decided to sell this. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like something that you'd keep. I am just going to review it and then sell it. But here he is in all his glory. Oh, I forgot. You actually take the top of his hair off and then this sits down like more flush. <laughs> <laughs> Got like a Kevin from the office thing going on. But he's he's awesome. It's an awesome figure. Like, dude, if I collected, I just don't collect the MCU stuff. If I collected the MCU stuff, you're goddamn right. I would keep this thing. It's not seamless. No, it is seamless. Oh, okay. It's seamless on the elbow. So like, he's seamless yeah. here. Like, and he ratchets in. Really and, but he's not seamless on the shoulder. Mm. So, but it still has like the rubber body, like at, at least it is a ratchet system. So it holds in place, but it's not like the most agile thing. It's just, it's, you can do more with it than you can with like the Batman begins Batman, because that is not a ratcheting system. He's just so big. Like everything's like so heavy on him, but he looks fucking awesome. How do you know about the Batman? What? How do you know about the Batman? It's common knowledge. Oh, my. Thinking like, is that what you're going to show me? Fuck no. I would never buy that. I might, I would consider buying the new one because I, I, they should be putting in like the ratchet body into it. So you would at least be able to pose it, but it's a big, big, yeah. it's a big boy. Yeah. I like, you see like the chest hairs on them. Like, I know, like, again, I, I need to get like a light set up just behind here just for when I do these. But it looks really good. Yeah. Very large. I don't have like a oh, a no, true no. six scale figure here to be able to like put next to him. Unfortunately, I guess I will when I open up this other box. Super though. Saiyan Four Goku is pretty close. I'll put the weapons on him. I'm curious to see what this other thing is. I knew about that. Yeah, but you haven't seen him out of the box. No. no. Holding those weapons and shit. I don't remember which hand he had which in, but this is the way I went with. This is the way. I see that hair sitting on your desk, and I was like, what the hell is that? You want to see him? I'll take a look at it. It's heavy. Like, it's not light. Jesus. Then other than that, he's just got a couple extra hands. Or anything. So he's got just like your your closed fist. God. And then he's got like open hands, and that's pretty much it. I'll obviously go over all this stuff more in detail with better lighting for it all in the review. He's definitely like got a rubberized feel to him. Which will probably this will probably be the next one I do then since I've so this will this review for this will probably be up Wednesday because like I said I think I've decided just to sell them. What else you got? Because I was able to the whole reason I didn't really I remember that when I first did this, uh, like the reveal for this stuff on the haul video, I didn't actually explain like the process that went behind me getting the figure. And like getting the deal, because if you remember, the haul was, and the video's up if you want to go see the haul, but the story behind actually deciding to get everything is, uh, and Rick, yeah, you haven't heard this either, I don't think. Um, John lived through it, so he, he's very familiar. But the first building we went into and the first vendor that I, I like pretty much walked up to was this guy. Like, and he had, the first thing I saw that he had was Dark Side Anakin. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit, I never thought I would ever see this. Like, cool. And then I asked him, like, how much for Anakin? And he was like, 640. And I was like, okay, I'll think about it. Like, yeah. And then I left and I wasn't going to think about it. <laughs> like, I was like, that's not going to happen. And then later, John had to leave. Uh, he had to run home. 
to take uh, his child home. So then I, I kept walking around and then eventually found my way back into that building because they only they had like five different buildings you could walk into. So I went through like a couple of them or like all of them. Then I went back to that one and just like was looking to see if I missed anything, whatever. But then it turned out I did miss stuff because at this guy's booth, that's when I noticed he had the... At this point in time, I still hadn't even noticed the Hulk, and I didn't. But I didn't even notice that he had the um, sideshow Mace Windu figure. Yeah. So then I, I like, he was sitting there. He was talking to some people, and then because he didn't have any of these things like priced or anything, they were just sitting there. So then I asked him, like, when he was done talking to the other people, I was just like, "So uh, how much? How much for the Anakin and?" Well, I asked him how much for the Mace Windu figure, and I think he said 120. And then I was like, okay. And then I like, waited like five minutes, and I was like, how much for, How much would uh, you let go of the Anakin and the Sam Jackson for? And then I got him that I got him to take 40 off of uh, Anakin, so 600, and then 20 off of the Sam Jackson. Mace Windu, so he took sixty off, which which made it like an even seven hundred. And I was like, okay, I'll think about it. Like whatever. Still wasn't really keen on it. And at that point in time, I pretty much made up my mind to just get the Mace Windu figure. Like no matter what, like I was gonna at least get that because only like a hundred bucks. Yeah. And like I said, I don't, I don't have a Mace Windu. I don't know if Hot Toys is ever going to make a Mace Windu. And when they do make a Mace Windu. It's gonna be like three hundred dollars, and probably. I, I don't really care for. If I don't have to spend three hundred dollars, I'm not gonna spend three hundred dollars. But I want a Mace Windu figure, and in the end, it's not gonna like yeah, the Hot Toys one's gonna look better and be better in, well, in like every way. Still pretty good, and but the, the sideshow's Mace Windu figures like surprisingly really good looking, and it's a third of the price that a Hot Toys one would ever be. Like, so I'm perfectly happy with having that be my Mace Windu representation, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Story's not over. I'm just trying to finish putting this away. No, after you show me this other one, I'll probably end up heading out, but I'm better to see it. I lasted pretty long this time, actually. It's almost 11. That's what she said. Mm <laughs> hmm. That is indeed what she said. Let me get this back in the box and then I'll finish this. I was actually surprised that John ended up not getting anything. Yeah, I probably wouldn't I, have either. He was a regular Eric Metz up in there. <laughs> the only yeah. thing I, 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 the the Hulk and then the Luke were the two that I was. There was there was a New Hope Luke Skywalker that I thought was a decent price too. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty good price. I think they only but went three fifty. I have some other hot toys I'm looking to buy too. So. <clears throat> Well, you also, you liked the Eric Killmonger, too, right? Uh, that's right. I wanted the Killmonger, too. Yeah, it'd be a cool figure to have. Well, that's like I was just telling Rick, like, I, I should have bought that Armored Batman because they sell for, like, around 500 and they only wanted 375 for it, and I probably could have got it for 350 Like, I totally should have just bought it. It's yeah. just after I got all this stuff, though, I obviously was just, like, not trying to spend another $400. No. Like, God, no. Because what ended up happening, to finish off the story here, then we'll get to the other unboxing. Um, so then, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, hour goes by, then John comes back. And then at that point in time, we take a lap around. Then we make it our way back into there. And I was telling John about, like, the Anakin and Mace Windu and all that stuff. And I think maybe at that point when I was in there, I think I may have seen the Hulk and then told John that like he had Hulk or I didn't even notice him until we went back in there and was like, oh shit, he has Hulk. One of the two, because I know the first one or two times I went there, I didn't even notice Hulk because Hulk was right behind Dark Side Anakin. So I just saw Dark Side Anakin. That's the only thing I was looking at when I, it's where my eyes went. I was like, holy shit, it's Dark Side Anakin. So we eventually go back in there. And then he sh he like pulls out and shows us the Gladiator Hulk like pulls him out of the box and like takes him out of the box and we look at him and stuff and it's like oh shit and I think John was even like 
thinking about getting him because like i told him uh he was only wanting like five five hundred for gladiator hulk like by himself for whatever reason it was a really good price if you look up hulk on ebay i did know because i told you how much they were charging for him before you came back i remember that now because you had looked it up on ebay yeah you see how much it was but yeah like the lowest price on ebay is like 850 or something like at best and i think that's used like i think new they're going for like a thousand plus so like he only wanted five there's nothing wrong with the figure either like the joints still work you just saw me bend his arms and shit like he's He's immaculate condition, like so. I, I right. don't know. Like, because Dark Side of Anakin, he goes for like between six hundred and eight hundred dollars too. So he was charging pretty much what the going rate for Anakin. And uh, I don't know why he was charging that much for Gladiator Hulk. The other way, so my grand scheme of thing. Once John said that he wasn't going to buy Gladiator Hulk, I was like, I wonder if I could just like I'm just going to ask him if uh, he'll do. All three of them, Gladiator Hulk, Dark Side Anakin, and Mace Windu for a thousand. And just see if he'll do it. Right. And it's just like, if he doesn't, which I didn't really think he would, but I kind of thought maybe he would. But like, our, our plan was what I did, which is this was the biggest mistake of my life. I, I wanted to kill some time and wait to like go in there like right before the show ended. So he'd be more inclined to like sell me the shit, you know, maybe. So I went and got food from one of the food trucks there. And then I got food poisoning from that shit. And it was worse than COVID. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. That's what you were saying. Like, the food poisoning, like, the sickness I got, like, the following day from that was literally worse than the you entirety eat? of COVID. It was just cheeseburgers with no bun and some fries. <laughs> but, like, the there was <laughs> obviously something wrong with that fucking beef or something, dude. Tainted beef. And it actually tasted good too. Like it didn't taste. It wasn't like amazing, but it was like it was good for it's it. Food, was. Yeah. Like yeah, it was fine. Um, but that was like literally it was some of the worst pain, worst worst night of my life. Woke up at three a.m. sick as hell, no sleep for the next day. Like it was just coming out of both ends. Like and there was nothing even to come out anymore. Like you know what I mean? Like, it was oh, yeah. bad. And like I was in pain from trying to puke and nothing being there to throwing puke. up hurts. Like well, no, it hurts. It's fine when you have stuff to throw up. Like but when you don't have anything, I was literally the only thing that was coming out of me was popcorn kernels, no liquid. So if you can imagine, like they were stuck in my throat and because there was nothing coming out, it was dry and just popcorn kernels were getting just like everywhere. I'm just like. <laughs> I, you know, like my, I literally was so pumped from it. My abs were sticking out. Like that's how fucking bad this was. I got a fucking ab pump from this. <laughs> it was insane. Like I was like, I wanted to fucking, I literally wanted to die. Like I literally did not want to do it anymore. I was almost like, in I tears. Can't take it. I just wanted to sleep. Like I was just really like come like 10 AM. I haven't slept yet because it's just like every five and my back hurt for some reason. I don't know if it was maybe my kidneys were actually hurting or something. I couldn't because I couldn't get comfortable. I couldn't do anything. It was literally it was fucking miserable, dude. I don't wish it on anybody. Like so, the only thing I can equate it to was food poisoning. So yeah. I'm assuming that's what it was. It was the only thing that was different out of any other day. <laughs> like was I ate that fucking food? But anyway, so I was like, yeah, we'll see. I want to see if you do it. So I went and ate the food. It was like the place closed at four. It was over at four, so come like three thirty, we stroll back in there. He's talking to some people and then whatever. Then I, I go up and I'm just like, Will you do Hulk, Anakin, and Windu for a thousand? And he was just like, How about a thousand fifty? And I was just like, I'll do a thousand fifty. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do a thousand fifty. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. Uh, I'll do that. I just pulled out another 50 bucks and I was just like, out the door. Like, what else do you got over there? Out the fucking door. But anyway, that's the thing. That's why cash is important. If you go to one of these things, take some cash with you. Cash is Because if I didn't have cash, he wouldn't have done it. I, he just wouldn't have done it. He, even when I got him down on Mace Windu and Anakin to just 700 even, he was just like, I'll, I'll do that cash. Like, I'll do 700 have cash. Pile, he has to file taxes on that sale. Exactly. So, like, you take the cash. So that's, I mean, you're talking about. I think I think tax in Xenia is like seven and a half percent. So 
that's 70 i mean right that's 75 bucks extra he's he's cleared on that that he doesn't have to turn over and tax yeah something like that for sure so yeah that, i'm thinking like uh i can sell that hulk and pretty much get all my money back so like potentially not this close to it you know not mm-hmm. like all of it but at least at the absolute very least if i can sell the hulk it will get me within the retail price range of anakin and mace windu which is like cool like even if i like his his initial it was somewhere around like what he had listed i forget like every it was like 300 bucks i essentially saved off, off of his asking price for each of them if i could even if even if i sold the hulk for i mean even if i sold him for 500 i'm at retail price for anakin and Mace Windu immediately. You know what I mean? So I can literally sell, which I'm perfectly fine with. I just always told myself I would absolutely like, I was so shocked to see the Anakin because I knew I would never be able to, like, I would never buy that thing. Like, I missed it when it came out. And they're literally, I'm not paying 700 fucking dollars for no. one figure, especially just like a normal ass, like, six scale, like, not a big old Gladiator Hulk boy or a, you know, brand new fucking Jedi Starfighter, like, you know, like that. Yeah, I'll pay 700 for that shit, or like a quarter scale figure brand new. I'll, I'll pay it for that. But not like a little six scale fucking just Anakin Skywalker that sold for $250. <laughs> like, right. hell no. Uh, 